Hello, I'm Joyce Kwan. I'm a musician and I live in Glendale, Los Angeles on the unceded land of the Tongva, Chumash, and Keech. Apartment tours and tiny home videos are some of my favorite things to watch on YouTube and I've wanted to make my own since moving in here two and a half years ago. And now that I'm getting ready to move out, I thought I'd give you a tour of my small studio apartment. When I was apartment hunting, my priorities were light and quiet. And when I saw this place, I knew that I could see myself at home here and totally forgot about the noise factor, enamored by the abundance of natural light. Um, it's a quasi cottage attached to one other adjacent upper unit. So there are windows on three sides, which is nice. Um, but it's right by a main street and noisier than I'd like. I'm a singer and I often have to record at home, so the noise level isn't ideal. But I've been able to make it work and I've tracked a number of things from here, including vocals for a video game song and most recently a museum ad campaign. I usually put up a blanket behind me here and record behind this necessary reflection filter. And I have to unplug the fridge because it's pretty loud and um, Sometimes I forget to plug it back in until the next day, but usually it's fine because there's not much food in my fridge anyway. Look, these hens have more square footage than I do relative to body size. I've also recorded a number of videos in this space and I'll share some of those with you throughout the tour. I bought this art friend from my good friend's son, um, hoping it will inspire me to work on my solo coral pieces. This work uh, is a designing illustration derivative of a uh, Gustav Klimt's painting of a choir. This place doesn't have a stove, which was not a concern for me because I do minimal cooking and nothing requiring more than one pot or pan, even when I have a four inch. I got an induction stove top um, and did a lot of research before settling on this toaster oven. It's my favorite appliance. On cold days, I like to make koguma in it and move my table to sit right by it like it's a furnace. My Anni, my friend, wanted to buy me a sofa when I moved in here. So she took me to a row of furniture stores in LA. Um, I wasn't sure that I wanted a sofa though because I could either fit that or a bed in here. Um, but uh, we saw this chair, purple chair, in the clearance section for a hundred bucks. And I was like, buy me this chair. I feel like I use every corner of the space except for this one. This corner is pretty underutilized because this chair is usually occupied by a pile of clothes. I rearranged furniture during the pandemic to accommodate my quarantine life. I used to have these shelves over by the piano, uh, but I swapped it for the purple chair that used to be here um, as I started working out of my kitchen daily and was eating here by myself most of the time. I no time. I put my laptop on the toy piano bench so that it's at a better height for my eyes and a good angle for video calls and I rotate it to sit facing the window. I started making this in a Jungian grief and loss art therapy class I took. Um, we were remembering those we've lost and it's sort of like an ofrenda or a chesa. I made it for my harmony who would collect scraps of paper like that because she thought it was too precious to toss. And I will add some pictures down the line hopefully. 
And this nesting tiger, I saw it in a neighborhood tiny art gallery and I really wanted it. So I swapped it for my album, which is my art, my album Dream of Home. And the rosé, bottle of rosé, I got it from my friend's baby shower. I don't know what to do with it, so I'm just holding on to it as decoration or something, I suppose. And the berry jam is from my neighbor whose mom makes jam. I keep my microphones, amp, and gear under the bed. Storage bins throughout have been helpful in keeping things tucked away. Well, I harmony like to sew things out of scraps of fabric. I don't like outside things touching my bed, so I'll use this as a barrier in between, like if I have to put my phone on my lap in bed or something. This piece is being used as my air filter cover. If you live in California, you're gonna want an air filter for fire season. It took me a year to receive this duvet cover. Um, I do not recommend that you order from that furniture store with a direction and tree in its name. Anyway, I will link to the story if you want to hear that saga. I play a traditional Korean instrument called kayagum, which I put on the floor in my lap to practice, um, as well as piano. So I'd be concerned about bothering downstairs neighbors if I had any. But I don't, so it's been a great place to practice. Don't fret if you're down. You can catch your phone. Get another turn. Don't gloat if you're up. It's a game of chance. Pet we sent you. I unfold my mat here for remote workouts with Bay Area friends. At the beginning of the pandemic, my routine consisted of alternating between hot Cheetos and potato chips. But then I realized that it would be a more healthful and socially rewarding activity to join those workouts. I had no interest in working out inside previously, other than going to Pilates at the Y. But I've come to really look forward to the HIIT workouts and find them somewhat meditative even. The bathroom is behind the left door and I didn't feel that my bathroom was that small but having checked out a number of homes recently I have noticed that the bathrooms feel very spacious and I think it's because mine is relatively small. And my mom said I'm the only person that could fit in that shower. I think it would be a bit cramped if you're taller than I am. The rent is $1,200 a month and I found that it's not really possible to find something decent for any less than that in the areas I was looking at. Um, I didn't know they had homes this small in LA, but uh, I'm glad for it because it's been the perfect size for me and I think it eliminated other prospective tenants who might have wanted a slightly larger space or a built-in stove. And I've actually lived in smaller spaces in New York City and Seoul, and I adore tiny homes. I pay $60 a month for internet. Um, let's see, average $64 monthly for electricity, the landlord covers water, um, and $13 monthly for the gas. So the monthly total averages out to around $13.37 a month. My home also acts as a portal to other worlds when I put up a green screen to make videos. Run in a haste from shore to shore Off for a taste Of something to fill you When I signed the lease, I wasn't sure how I'd make rent, as low as it is for LA, um, as I was in between things and figuring life stuff out. 
I'm once again stepping out on optimism and faith and moving to a bigger place in a different neighborhood of the city. I tend to make only as much money as I need. I think time is the most valuable currency and I'd rather have more of that to myself. But anyway, I'll need more money so I plan to make more. The housewarming gifts have started coming in. My BFFs from college, Jack and Amy, got me this framed art and I'm gonna hang it up once I move. My high school friend Iris got me this croissant. When I had pictured this very croissant lamp a few weeks prior and wish that I had one. You know, since I've started reading up on Jungian psychology for my next album, I've been noticing a lot of synchronicity in my life. Look at this beautiful croissant. One of my best friends from college, Molly, had these plants shipped to me. She said they thrive on sunlight and neglect. I haven't figured out what to do with them until I move, but perhaps I should unwrap them. When I first moved in here, I looked up and I was startled to see a coyote at eye level. I learned that there's a coyote den a couple houses down, um, which explains me running into the occasional coyote on my walks. And there are also a lot of squirrels and cats and birds that like to walk along the fence here. This baguette, technically a batar, was a pandemic splurge from Japan. I ordered one for myself and one for my mom's friend. And I've done a live stream series that I call Ballads by Baguette by the Spaghetti. Good night, my someone. Good night, my love. Sleep tight, my someone. Sleep tight, my love. Our star is shining, it's brightest light. I rediscovered the joy of reading books during the pandemic after over a decade. And I love to read in the nook of my bed. I designed this for my baby sister to laser cut at the makerspace at her school so that we could give it to our sister to put in her office, also on the same campus. We're the three sister Veras. I like this peephole here, but I never use it because I feel like if I'm gonna open this, I might as well open the door. It's so big. My sister bought a couple of these kimchi watercolors by her friend a while back. And this one was in my mom's kitchen but uh, I took it to add some interest to my Zoom background. And actually, I've been going through my parents' house noting each item I'll take when I move. And my sister said that I should just put post-its that say mine on everything. I moved in here after a string of anxiety-inducing living situations with family where I wouldn't want to come out of my room or I had to book a hotel to get a peace of mind. Um, it's given me the space I needed and been a lovely home despite the ant infestations anytime there's a rainstorm and the crickets that hop indoors from the garden during summer. I found that the only way to keep them out is using tape. So I, I shut the door closed with tape. Then of course I can't get out but I have two doors in this little place so I use the back door. I've taught a bunch of music classes, workshops, private lessons, done live stream performances, a lot of output from this little space. For a time I had two kayagums and two pianos, this upright plus a toy piano in this little studio. Um, this white upright is the perfect size as it's smaller than a lot of uprights and I've really enjoyed my time with it. I think having a piano makes a place feel like a real home for me. Find true love in deep time. Oh, know yourself in deep 
time Yes We won't part in deep time Thanks for coming by. I can't say that I'll make more videos like this one, but I'll definitely be posting more music videos. So subscribe and tune back in for those if you want. Um, okay, that's all. Bye now.